it is a good practice to start with your factory carrier shims. Make sure they are clean and measure them in three places to ensure a proper measurement. You can add some gear oil to the outsides of the shims to help drive them in easier. Install the carrier and your carrier shims. Start with the right hand side to prevent tooth binding against the pinion. Drive the shims completely into place. Once fully seated, install and tighten down the carrier caps. Always tighten the right side first. With the carrier assembly installed, attach a dial indicator with the plunger at a 90 degree angle from the face of the ring gear teeth. Gently rock the carrier back and forth to measure your backlash. You'll want to do this in three separate locations on the ring gear to check for runout. If the backlash is too tight, move the carrier away from the pinion by adjusting the carrier shims. If the backlash is too wide, adjust the carrier towards the pinion. When adjusting the backlash, a good rule of thumb is a ten thousandths of carrier shim adjustment will result in around seven thousandths of backlash adjustment.